Uh, I don't know about you, but I get really pissed off when people keep telling me about Birdsville. Birdcage. Birdcage, Birdsville. I mean, as, as your representative as a councillor and being a mayor, I can tell you every time I hear that word, it makes me just cringe. Because I door knocked a lot of the houses that uh, had had invitations to come here uh, tonight. And what I found was a lot of really good people. Really good people, happy to have a chat, happy to tell me what was going on, ask me lots of questions, and a lot of people turned out tonight, which I thank you for doing, each and every one of you. Why are we here? That's the first thing. We've done, done a lot of work on Adelaide Road. I think as a council you appreciate we've uh, invested a lot of money over the last 80 months, two years, and it's really taking shape. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Um, I'll keep yelling and if you can't hear me, just let me know. Um, we will finish Adelaide Road by the end of next month. But formally, the end of April, it's done. Done, dust, and finished. And we're very proud of it. So, Swanport Road is our next major entrance that we will be working on. You can, you can probably see we've made a start there. Some lousy bastard stole about 80 of our plants and broke a couple of trees. <laughs> there you go. Uh, which hurts us a bit because I honestly didn't expect that to happen, but it has happened and we will replace them. Now the weather now the weather's more amenable, we've got through the heat of summer I think. We're about to replace those and get back where we started from. So Swamport Road is the next entrance that we really want to take some pride in. And why are we in our drive? We wanted to do a pilot street that would come off Swanport Road in the same time frame. <clears throat> we actually wanted to go where the people lived as well. And the Birdsville tag upsets a lot of people, upsets us at council, upsets the community generally. And we've got a point to prove that we're better than that. Mowbridge proud, Mowbridge safe, Mowbridge pro progressive. Adelaide Road's about Mowbridge being proud. Our drive's about Mowbridge being proud and safe and progressive. It's the longest street. If we went into Lower Keith and added it all up with all the turns and that, it's probably about equal. But household wise, and it's a mixed street as far as ownership of houses go, there's some private housing, there's some housing trust housing, and some other investor housing. So it's a range of housing. Uh, and that presents uh, issues, maybe. I mean, if it was all just housing SA, we could probably talk to Wendy Gabray and develop a plan behind the scene and involve you to some degree on the way through. We don't want to just inform you, we really want to seriously involve you. We also don't want to come along as council and go, we think we can do this and you'll all be happy and then you don't own it. So what we want to do here is a combined project with our community as the council. And it's very important if you've got ideas, doesn't matter what they are, there's paper over there and pens, please write down your ideas because we will collate those, we'll work out the outline of a project for our drive, for our street we want to do something with as a pilot street here in Murray Bridge, off of Swanport Road, leaning into that upgraded entrance there. That's our aim. And our biggest wish is that we can work with you, as many of you that are interested as a community. That's the guts of it, that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's really what this is all about. So coming out tonight is really encouraging, but there's enough faces here to tell me, as your Mayor, that there's enough interest just here tonight alone. And there'll be people who can't get here tonight that would have liked to have been here, I'm sure of that. Um, we will go away with whatever we collect from tonight. We'll put that together as a project profile, and we'll come back again. And we'll have another barbecue. And we'll have some plans and some things to show you of what, what we might be able to do. When we do that, we will know that we can get the money, that, that we can get a budget line from within council, so we can actually do it. They could talk about stuff you can't afford to do. Now, just to give you some idea, this park's dry. There's no reason why this park could be, this park could be a lot of things. There could be so many things it's not funny. We don't know what it should be. We need, we need to work with you and get all the ideas and hopefully something will come, or some variations will come out and say, that would be a really good combination, that will work with that, with that. Play space, safe space, garden space, green space. Down on Swanport Road opposite the pub, you see the pump station 33, and you can see how that artwork's been done on there. That was part of being proud again. We were really determined, we weren't just going to have a big cement block stuck out of the ground down there. 
and look ugly as all hell. All credit to SA Water, all credit to the Narangiri, who were prepared to work on that project, and it's actually a piece of artwork, frankly. Well, guess what? What we've been able to do as a council is get a certain amount of our own final water from our community that's treated out the back of Brinkley, comes back through that pump station, gets pumped under the river across to the army range on the outside of the river. That's where that water goes. We've been able to strike a deal to get a certain amount of water out of that system for our community. After all, starts with us, if you can know what I'm We'll get it back in a form that's treated and we can green this part subject to enough money to do the piping. And we've got a grant application, we got heads up the other day. The first part of the grant application we're going to get ticked off. It's a half a million dollars towards the grant. That in the, top, in the longer term will mean we'll pipe down right down Scotland Road and this park becomes possible to be green. So if you ask me six months ago, can we green this park, I would have just you know, torn what here I got left out because it would be a, a really hard mission to do. But we've come a big step closer. Let's just give you some idea of the things that are possible.